Now, let's discuss the strategies that you need after you have listened to each section. I'm sure you've tried not to make mistakes while you're listening, but if you have, you still have 30 seconds after each section to check. During this time, you should check that you have followed the instructions, used good grammar, and spelled correctly. Let's look at some examples of these types of mistakes. First of all, you need to make sure that you followed the instructions on the question paper. Let's look at the first BCD example again. You can see that here there is a very clear word limit. This means that the answer must not be more than three words and this includes any number in figures which is counted as one word. So, for question 11, the following answers would fit the word limit, although just be aware that these examples may be wrong in other ways. This is one number. This example is two words and or a number, so that's okay. And this is three words and or a number, which again fits the word limit. But on the other hand, this would not fit the word limit, and your answer would be marked wrong. So obviously, you want to avoid losing points by following instructions. The next aspect of your answers to check is that old favourite, grammar. Using incorrect grammar in your answers in the listening test can also result in a lower score. Let's look at an example of this type of mistake. When you have to fill gaps with a word or words, you must use words that you have heard in the listening section, and also there must be grammatical fit on the question paper. In this example, the candidate has written overseas as the answer for question 13. But this is wrong. Why? Well, because the complete phrase, sometimes work in overseas, is grammatically wrong. However, if the candidate had written other countries, that would be a grammatical fit. Another important aspect of checking your grammar is to make sure that you've not written unnecessary words in your answer. Take a look at this extract from a question paper. Can you see that the candidate's answer has repeated the word street? This is not necessary because the word street is already given on the question paper. So, it is wrong. Be careful of this because repeating unnecessary words may also affect your ability to keep your answer to the word limit. So, now we're going to discuss checking for spelling. You know, from experience, I have to say that spelling is probably the most common type of mistake which needs to be checked. Unfortunately, if you spell any words incorrectly in the IELTS listening test, even if we can understand what your answer means, the answer is completely wrong. So it's very important that you check the words you've written and correct any spelling mistakes. Before you take the test, I'd recommend that you practice remembering the spelling of words if you think you have a problem in this area. But in addition, during the test, if there is a number for an answer, do not write the words of the number. Write down the figures instead to avoid spelling mistakes. Before we finish this presentation about checking, let's answer two important questions about this strategy. First of all, how should we correct any mistakes we find? Well, any correction should be done quickly and clearly. And, in fact, this is the best way to do it. When you have found a mistake and you know how to correct it, cross out a complete word using one line with a pencil. And write the correction next to it.
Try not to scribble. And try not to use an eraser, as this can waste time. The final question is, how should we handle missed answers? The important thing to remember is to write something, even if you're not confident that it's correct. After all, if you write nothing, you're guaranteed to be wrong. What you need to do is use what you can remember from that listening section and make a reasonable guess which will fit grammatically and logically. Checking answers is easy to forget when you're under pressure in a test, but if you can make a special effort to remember, you'll probably help to improve your IELTS listening score.